Is that a voice reveal? I participated in the Honk Shoe Train Game Dive Into Dreams Challenge, where you have one month to create a five second render of a character going Betty Bob. After bleeding, sweating, and tear -ing. in a 35 day period, I had created my best render yet. How did I get here? Now, where am I gonna find inspiration? Today feels fighting. Perfect! I could have Stell pass out in Natasha's clinic and wake up in a dump full of lordly trash cans like the Dream in Penicone. So I looked for models and it turns out Hoyoverse exports a lot of their assets to MMD files, but the one I couldn't find was Natasha's clinic. Good thing the Goth Hotel was a thing. This got me a Stell rig made by Isaac S. from Festivities Community and some MMD models of the Goth Hotel, Pom Pom, and the lordly trash- That's a normal trash can. Hello Mario. So, I modeled and rigged up my own version of the Lordly Trash Can. I also had an idea for an epic gamer trash fish, and imported the rest of the models. Once I set up the first scene, it was time for the- Inspired by the Star Rail Dream loading screen, I duplicated the hotel's geometry and threw a Goo Engine handy dandy screen space node on top of it rendered over the hotel. For the bubbles, I created a second scene so it would be a plane that sits right in front of the camera. Inside the hotel geometry for the effect, I layered in the ocean and started animating a ring that would expand and reveal the secret dream world scene hidden right beneath the hotel. After modeling a whole ton of trash, it was time for me to sketch up the dream world idea, then start putting everything together. To figure out post-processing, I took a couple of rendered frames and dragged them into Photoshop, then came up with this basic layer system. Gaussian blur set to lighten, defocus the corners, chromatic aberration the corners, and then another Gaussian blur set to soft light for higher contrast. Now it was time for the characters. <laughs> Nintendo! Please don't turn me into a marketable plushies! Nintendo! At this point, I was ready to finish up, but I still needed something. I was able to get some good timing advice from Clayaga, who's in charge of the Anyone art community. But if only I had advice from someone. Someone who... Ramen was available to give me some great tips on how to spruce up the animation. Thanks to him, I was able to make March's stepping smoother, and sell Garbage King Tatalov's punch with great force. Using the graph editor's Butterworth Smooth and making the punch bigger, I finally reached the finished product.